All right, everybody, I'm excited to bring a new video today. This is Keyword Research Made Easy. We're gonna show you how to automate your entire keyword process using ChatGPT. As you know, if you're a digital marketer, keyword analysis is at the core of a lot of campaigns, and there's tools like Ahrefs, which makes it very easy to, easy to find uh, potential keywords based on authority and traffic volume. However, Digital marketers still have to sort through these massive lists of potential keywords to find the ones that are most relevant to whatever campaign that they are looking at to kind of decode whatever the searcher's intent might be behind those keywords. And today we're gonna to use ChatGBT to automate those tedious tasks. So I'm gonna cover this. It should be pretty quick. This is a step-by-step -step process for finding the relevant keywords using ChatGPT to surface relevant keywords from a big list of keywords and do other sorts of analysis on keyword lists. And this will really speed up your process. It will allow you to really focus more on marketing strategy. If you've ever had to look at long lists of thousands of different keywords, you know it gets very hard after a thousand or two to keep your mind fresh. ChatGPT will help with all of that. And you're gonna gain insights about how to use use AI in various ways uh, in uh, the spreadsheet mode. So let's jump in here. A couple other benefits that you're going to get is, you know, with being able to find relevant keywords much faster is a competitive advantage. You know that getting a uh, article or a page to rank to be the first one there is uh, a very powerful skill to have. Trend discovery as uh, changes in consumer behavior happen. I think the advent of AI is going to make some changes in consumer behavior. It's going to make a lot of changes in the different keywords that folks are searching for. So now is the time to master this skill. Towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to use this to improve your content strategy. And like I mentioned earlier, to get better insights into uh, user intent. So the first step is to grab a list of potential keywords. If you've been doing digital marketing for any length of time, you probably have your own process for this. If you're brand new, my quick and dirty process, I use a tool called Ahrefs, very powerful tool. I grab a competitor's website, I to toss it into their uh, tool there, and I will search for, based on their volume and keyword difficulty is how I will filter this. Um, if you're doing a B2C campaign, a big rule of thumb might be to start with anything with a search volume of 1,000 or more. If you're doing a more narrow B2B campaign, you might want to filter that by um, you know, just 100 or more if it's a narrow campaign. Keyword difficulty really depends on your website's authority. Um, if it's a brand new site, I would start with the maximum keyword difficulty being 20. Uh, if it's uh, if your site's been around a little while, you might want to go 30, 40, 50, 60. But if you're working on a site with a lot of authority, you probably have your own process for all of this. And there's a lot more to this I could get into. If you want a video on that, let me know. Either way, you're going to export this out of Ahrefs or whatever tool that you're using. And you're going to import that into Google Sheets. Then you're going to install and set up a Google Sheets add-on that's called GPT for Sheets and Docs. You're going to need your OpenAI API key. So if you've never dabbled with uh, the API at all, this is at platform.openai.com. You can log in and quickly find your API key uh, and then insert that back into the add-on. There's a little walkthrough uh, related to that add-on. It should be very fairly easy to get that cooking for you. So here's what your uh, sheet should look like once you've pulled it out of Ahrefs or whatever tool. All you really are worried about here is that A column. Um, and from there, you're gonna insert a column, uh, a, a column to the left and a column to the right of your keyword. So insert one that becomes column A. Column B will be your keyword. Column C will be empty as well. And here is the prompt that we're gonna put into column A. So please analyze the following keyword and assess its relevance for, put in whatever type of business for the campaign you're working on. Focusing on helping, put in whatever type of customer you're serving. Effectively solve whatever type of problem that that uh, business helps solves. So 
Then you want to say, please return the, the word high for any that are highly relevant, low for any that may be somewhat relevant or not relevant for any that are not relevant to this audience. Here is the keyword. So this is all of the prompt that you're going to put into column A. You can check it out here. I see I've copied and pasted that into column A and pulled that down through the entire spreadsheet. Then in column C, you're going to insert this um, formula. So equals to GPT A, A2 colon B2. Just, you're just combining those two columns. So if you read this, this is the prompt and it says here's the keyword when you combine that with the B column, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to complete that prompt and it's going to give you the result there in column C. So you just drag that column C, fill all of your uh, rows in and you can quickly get through thousands of keywords here and looking at how relevant they might be to a specific type of business, specific type of customer. Big word of warning though, before you do any of this, Please make sure you realize that you're going to be hitting that uh, ChatGPT, the OpenAI's API, much more than you probably ever have in the past. Um, I was pretty shocked. This was when my cost went up pretty dramatically for using that API. I am chatting with uh, you know Google uh, <laughs> ChatGPT nonstop, and my cost in there is very low. But when you hit it like six thousand times when it's analyzing every single row. It's going to cost 10 to $20 is in that range. And also every time you reopen the spreadsheet, it's going to try to an analyze it again. So once you've done that analysis, it's very important. Copy and paste it back in, pasting the values back in. So you want to get those formulas out of there as soon as it's done the processing. Otherwise, you may accidentally open the file and get charged again. That's a little bit why I've used screenshots here and not showing you live because I had a couple times where I kept opening it and it kept running all of that. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. You know, you're running through this, so you'll see it analyzing different rows. It doesn't go straight from top to bottom. In my experience, it fills out rows uh, kind of randomly. Um, but anyway, be, be cognizant that this will cost more. You know, this, this will be using that API probably much more than you have in the past. And, you know, for $10 to analyze 6,000 keywords, uh, that I would do that all day. But you want to just be careful and know that you're, you're hitting that uh, API more than before. So then once you have this list of highly relevant keywords, you can then go back, create another different prompt and ask, you know, why, uh, why did you pick these as highly relevant? Or what is the user intent behind these? Or what is the best type of content for this particular keyword? And you can very quickly, just in that same spreadsheet, start to map out your entire content marketing campaign. So have fun with this. Now is the time to really master this because the keyword uh, search trends are going to change dramatically with the introduction of AI into our world. If you would like a cheat sheet version of this with the um, prompt there that you can just copy and paste, I have that and I have cheat sheets for all of my videos available in my Patreon for just a few bucks a month. It really helps me keep this channel going. There's a ton of value there. There's a bunch of code in there. Uh, Google Collabs uh, houses some code that I've created with uh, ChatGPT and there's some walkthroughs on how you can create your own code uh, using ChatGPT, which is a very powerful skill to learn. There's also some one-on-one -on -one coaching and consulting if you're working on something and would like to chat. I'd be happy to chat with you or your team and make sure you're rowing in the right direction. Please, thanks for watching. Please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment. It really, really helps as I'm trying to get this channel off the ground. And I will see you in the next video.